the hammer. Guess what today is? Well, there's two different things today. One, this is my second video blog, and today is also National Banana Split Day. Last time we were in my garage, now we're in my kitchen. And you know what? To celebrate National Banana Split Day, I'm gonna make a banana split. This is awesome. First, you gotta take a really good banana. It's gotta be just right. Can't be them mushy brown bananas. No, you gotta get something that's kind of firm, okay? Maybe not as firm as this one, but nonetheless. Take it, put it in your plate, get a knife, and split the banana. Hence, banana split. Now somebody once told me to just use two bananas. Nah, I like just two halves, it's fine with me. So you cut it up, put it in the plate, then get your ice cream. I personally like Turkey Hill, it's pretty good. And it's banana split ice cream, see? It's just kind of made for it. Normally you use the scoop, it's okay, I'll use the spoon. And put a good amount of ice cream in there. It's a celebration, you gotta have a lot, can't have too much. Then you start adding your toppings. Me personally, actually I'm gonna start with some chocolate sauce. Gotta get plenty of it on there. Because, man, that is gonna be so good going down. Then, maybe a little ready with. For those of you that kinda of like, you gotta put plenty on there. And if you're a fan of sprinkles, put them on too. I like chocolate sprinkles myself. You never have too much chocolate. Now, I already washed my hands, so you can do this. Don't try it at home if you haven't washed your hands. Your wife will smack you. And then the last thing you need is a big cherry on top. There you have it, National Banana Split Day. Man, that looks really good. I brought everything but a spoon. Ah, who needs a spoon? <laughs> National Banana Split Day. It's the Hammer, live from his kitchen. Happy celebrating, everybody. Don't forget, check us out on Saturday night on the electricradioshow.com.